tonight, with the exception. We get to it after this first delivery. Misses outside. The Hawk is out, and it is blowing dead straight in, 15 to 25 miles an hour from left field. It will go out of this ballpark tonight, but it's going to be to right, more than likely. We saw some balls flying during batting practice. Both left and right-handers were hitting them out there. Now the wind, wind will take it. If you hit it towards the video board out of right center, it'll, it'll fly. Ty Johnson, the junior from Flower Mound, Marcus, will step in. Transfer from McClendon. Pitches upstairs. And I thought that stat you gave about LBJ and the four pitch outs, I think that is such a key stat for him. Well, it is. I mean, last two starts, he had 110 and 107 pitches, and 10 and a third innings total. So you're trying to keep that pitch count down so you can get deeper in the game. That's what you want out of your Friday night pitcher is to give you length to save the bullpen over the weekend. The 3 1. It's downstairs and a leadoff walk at home. LBJ in his career has been outstanding, and these numbers this year are exceptional. The ERA just 3 to 1, just over 3 to 1, strike out the walk ratio, and only 19 hits here at home. Mason Greer will step in. Mason, the son of Ranger great Rusty Greer transferred in from Missouri State. He's a senior. There goes the runner. Throw to second base. Not in time. And so Johnson right off the bat now four for four in the stolen base department after that successful steal. LBJ sometimes we'll, we'll go over there early but tonight deciding not to Johnson taking off first pitch. was not sure it thought it was up downstairs Let's see what the call is now scoreboard's got it one and one As Greer steps back in but it is a breaking ball two and one I think that pitch was indicative of what the count was. I don't think LBJ is throwing a 2-0 yeah. slider. Bottom of the zone, but in there for a strike. And the count evens. Two and two. That pitch had some giddy up on it. That was a registered 97 miles an hour from LBJ. Zeke, did you like to pitch with the wind at your back? 2-2, two, two, 10 uh, pitch. I mean, you did because sometimes it felt like you were throwing harder <laughs> with, with, the, with the wind yeah. behind you. But it, it sometimes will keep your breaking ball up sometimes with the wind. But yeah, I mean, if it's at my back, that means it's blowing in. To the hit. <laughs> and, and that's a good thing. Yeah. For a pitcher. Kind of thought you might say yes. Slider misses inside and the count goes full. When your eyes are watering as at home plate because the wind's hitting you in your face as a hitter, it's not a good day. Yes, it is. <laughs> the 3 2. This ball hit well to right. Ballou has a beat on it. Looking up into the sun. Snares it. What a nice play. Greer hit it right on the button. And a nice play by Ballou for the first out of the inning. You don't realize how nice that play was for Max Ballou. In the sun, got the wind going, and watch—he has to go up and get this one behind him. Wow, that's good concentration right there. That's a nice play. Buckle will step in. They got them big old shades on out there, and right, going to eat them with that sun today. Transfer from Gonzaga. He's a junior from Arizona. First pitch misses outside. He's got excellent numbers. Leads the team and hits. Homer twice. He's driven in 18. Pitch misses downstairs and it's 2 and 0.
Two and one now. Infield back. Texas will surrender the run on a ground ball in the infield. Good crowd making its way into the ballpark here. Second conference series of the year. First home conference game. Humpback liner caught by Thomas. Could be doubled up. Not in time going back across the infield. Yeah, first, Jared Thomas had to make sure you catch the ball, and then when he looks up, you saw the runner off a little bit. Right here, you'll see him right there. One hopper over to Peyton. Really close play at third. LBJ with a good pitch right there and a good hitter. A weak liner to first. That was closer than it looked. <laughs> Wesley Jordan will step in. Strong right handed hitter. First pitch upstairs for ball one. Another. Flower Mound Marcus High School from Highland Village will step in. Break a ball in there for a strike. 18 pitches now for Johnson here in the top of the first. See the numbers on the year. Challenged it, threw it by him. That was a good, a good heater right there from LBJ. And if you're going to challenge, challenge in tonight with that breeze. The one two. But Johnson at third. This is down and away with a fastball. Count evens at two and two. 20 pitches in this first inning. The two two. On the ground. Floor is up with it. Throw across the diamond in time. LB Schneider from Marriott mainly he would you do throw it in case you got to got to throw it even if you just show it. First pitch misses outside to JT Jared Thomas sophomore from Walter Hatch. Had a great start 398 on the year as he steps in right here. Lashes this ball foul back out of play. He was waiting 30. for that fastball just went out ch chase the low one right there. 33 hits on the season. He's hit two out of the ballpark. Driven in 13 out of the leadoff spot. Just that breaking ball. Both his homers this year, about the same exact spot. Right around that 365 mark, just over it in right center. This ball ripped into left. Leadoff single. For Thomas. That ball was hit hard right there. You see last weekend, though, one of the reasons you beat a team like Texas Tech at home, two out of three, you got to pitch it well, and they did. Yeah. Look, had a one ERA in the three games. Three to one strike out the walk race show. To, and from what they had done previous with the five, five, seven ERA, that's an excellent weekend right there. You got to win those games at home. Baylor took two out of three. Peyton Powell is from the Waco area. So you know this is an interesting series from him. Senior from Robinson. Downstairs for ball one. Longhorn third baseman tonight. Double play depth in the infield are the Bears. Throw over. Thomas back in safely. He is always a threat to run. Seven out of seven leads the Longhorns in that department. The 1 0. Breaking ball. He hasn't thrown one for a strike so far in the game. Of course, he hasn't thrown many pitches yet. Both him and Jared Thomas laying off that low inside slider. 
Good hitters count now 2 and 0. Oh. This ball into left field. So back to back base hits to start the game for Texas. I like it. Both lefties taking the pitch the other way with something on them. Hit those balls. Both those balls hit well. Here comes Flores. We highlighted him in the open. Sophomore from San Antonio, Longhorn shortstop. Chance to play with the lead at home. Anytime you get in conference play at home, love playing with the lead. That's right. Getting out of that first inning, LeBaron did a really good job. Had the runner on second, but no outs. Was able to get out of it without a run across. Missed inside. Very up behind again here to Flores. Again, hitters count 2 and 0. Oh. I went out to see the off speed pitch right here. First two have hit the fastball pretty good. This ball hit on the ground. Could be two. Bobble. Don't get it out. In the first. Schusler will step in, the junior from Lano. He's done an outstanding job offensively. As well as behind the plate, breaking ball misses for ball one. Still, Marriott has not thrown a breaking ball for a strike in this first inning. Hitters count again, 1-0. and oh. so Bears are even, up at third. Even though it's 11 pitches in, yeah. you're still looking for dead red. There it is. Got the breaking ball over. So the count evens sort of changes. I think you go right back to the breaking ball again. Yeah, well, you look, you're looking for the for the ground ball, and if you can get Campbell to roll it over as the pitcher, right here, something on the ground goes to the heater. That catches a corner. Good location with that one. And 94 there from Marriott. Schusler 0 for 1 on the year with the bases loaded. As he steps back in here. Nobody out. Bottom of the first. On the ground, right side to second for one. The relay to first. They do get the double play. As a really nice job by Marriott to find the bag and make the catch. That's not easy. That's one of the toughest double plays. To turn right there when the first baseman has to field it and throw it to second. A good job down there also by Pendergrass, giving Kemp a good feed right here. And then as a pitcher, if you get there a little sooner, he got there, but look at the throw. Up the line, but kept the foot on it and drug it across the base. Very nice play. Got the two outs and only one run. That's very athletic to do that. It's very I, athletic. I, I, yeah, I just said a pitcher was athletic. Thank you for saying that song. Okay. <laughs> we got that on tape. <laughs> Blue lashes this one foul. You don't see many three, six, one double plays, but a big one for the Bears here. Longhorns do get on the board, lead here one nothing. As the sophomore from Molito steps back in on the ground, could get out of it, just giving up one. That was a remarkable job. Glad you're with us here on a Friday night. It is a warm, beautiful day. Here, wind is continues to blow. First pitch misses for ball one. Plansky will step in. Hunter from the left side. Pitch in there for a strike. Senior from College Station. Switch hitter. Couple in the lineup for the Bears tonight. Greer also a switch hitter. Side. Two and one. 25th pitch for LeBaron Johnson Jr. here. Good bender. Yeah. Outside. Looks like it's outside and then came back at the last second. 80. 
three miles an hour on that slider too. The 2-2. Two -two. Up the middle. Flores to his left. Has it. Sets his feet. Gets the out. Ball was hit off the end. Had a little slice to it. And when it hit the turf, it's, it's going to have a funny little spin. Jalen stays with it right there. Able to get the handle on it. So that strong arm right there. Altman will step in. Daniel from the left side. Another senior. As he steps in. Good pitch there. I just I know every time he pitches, we always say it just it has such good downhill, a downhill plane to his fastball. Count evens at one and one. You can see it right here. Great angle. Just missed inside. Not by much, and it's two and one. To left. Got that one up. First hit of the night for the Bears. You get the count, looking fastball. LBJ standards it elevated. Does a good job. All three hits in this game have been to the opposite field from left hands. Pendergrass will step in. Longhorns a double play depth in the infield. Throw over. Open back safely. Missouri City, Texas native. Junior. Bear first baseman did a nice job starting that 3 6 1 double play to get the Bears through that first inning. Misses inside. A good pitch. A little too much run on it. Back safely. Altman 0 for 2. Trying to steal bases. There he goes. Little hit and run. This ball into the gap in right center. This is going to be all the way to the wall. This is going to score a run. And Baylor has come right back to tie it up here in the top of the second. Fifth double of the year for Pendergrass. Yeah, not easy to do off LBJ. It's a fastball. Down. And this ball is almost off the ground right there. Does a good job. Just barreled it up. Cut it out there. Just all the way to the wall. He loves it. Kemp will step in. Short stop. From the left side. Tariq. From the Netherlands. Transferred in from Western Oklahoma. Junior college. Pitch in there for a strike. 
Five, seven, one, fifty. Is Tyreek? One fifty one, excuse me. Zeke, you've gone over to the Netherlands and done a camp, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, there's some kids that, that when I did the camps over there went to Western Oklahoma as well. Take the ball in there quickly, it's 0-2. My next long one, Mateo Boki. Was exactly. the one of my little yeah. guys over there. LBJ's first 0 2 count of the night. 35th pitch. This is back to the middle. They got him hung in the middle. Throw to third in time. As Altman Pendergrass, excuse me, made the move. Nice job by Johnson to look up, throw the ball, get it out of your hand. It almost surprised him. Right there, but first thing you do is check the runner. Had a grip on it. That gets by him. That's possibly a base hit right there. Good job, LBJ. He didn't really have a grip, real good grip on it. Threw it low to Peyton, but he caught it and made the tag. Cali will step in. This throw gets away. Down into the corner. Trying for three to throw across the diamond. Pitt got him. His arm. He's an outfielder as well. Got a good arm over there at first. They go to the bottom of the second. What is a 1 1 ball game as Galvan will step in? Sophomore from Sinton. Breaking ball. Got away with it. It was a strike. But you don't want to live up there. You gotta keep getting a feel for it. First few were out of the zone, last few have been in the zone. So the 0 1. This one will outside. Evens the count. Good location there. A swing and a miss. You go four in a row here, Zeke. One you've got called, and one you swing at. Might as well try it. Went try to the heater. Tricky. Yep. Twenty-first pitch of the night for Marriott. Did he go. Yes, he did. Couldn't hold the bat back. First strikeout. Check swing there. Yep. From Rowling. So a dose of sliders and that is that. Porter Brown will step in. Senior transfer. From San Antonio. Longhorn left fielder. Downstairs for ball one. Scoreboard totals identical. One, two, and one for each club. Change up. 88. Don't take a lot off of it. <laughs> Pretty firm. Hitters count here 2 and 0. Oh. Fouled off left side. As darkness approaches here, that Hawk has really slowed down. And the Hawks appreciating it. Flag's not doing too much out there right now. Foul back. And it's two and two. Sunshine streaks across the outfield now. Lights are on. Slider. Good location. Just misses, and it's a full count. The payoff to Porter inside gets away for ball four. So a threat to run at first base. Porter Brown five for six in stolen bases. As the freshman from Los Angeles, Will Gasparino will step to the plate.
center fielder. Downstairs. Seeing a lot of good things. The opposite field homer that we saw this week. Gasparino was impressive. Hey, in batting practice, he was impressive. He one halfway up the video board out there in right center. He has powered all fields. 6-6. Six, six. Just a freshman. Long hold, the 1-0. Breaking ball misses. Hitters count now, 30th pitch coming. Yanked foul down the left field line. Altman will have to retrieve it and a souvenir. Nobody's happy. Happy about it. <laughs> Throw over. Brown back in safely. Off of the fist. Got a shot at it. Just underneath us. <laughs> you were thinking ricochet? Hop. They're just walking by. Happened to win the jump ball down there. They won the jump ball. Yeah, a couple of them went after it. Hey, was. we are in the middle of the NCAA tournament. The 2 2. Throw over. Foul back on top of the clamshell. Look out. Underneath that breaking ball. You would think that Porter Brown will be off with this pitch. The three two throw the first. There goes the runner swing and a miss throw to second base. Not in time. Up and in there to Gasparino couldn't catch up with it. Six stolen base on the other end for Porter Brown. Sometimes you make your mind up that I'm gonna not gonna take this 3-2 pitch and you go outside the zone. And it's up around the neck to Gasparino. It's up out of the zone. Looks good and you had your mind made up. D. Kennedy will step in. Or second baseman, freshman for Fort Worth. Ball gets away. Porter Brown advancing to third. Safe. Didn't get way very far. Well, it just got underneath. Kaylee back there. Couldn't find it for a second. Porter Brown being aggressive. That's just good anticipation. You, you, you gotta be, you gotta go quick and good slide too. You see, mm -hmm. pulled that left hand back, went with that right hand. His foot was right there. Porter had to go around it. So the one to know to Kennedy. Upstairs. Next inning, we'll visit with head coach Mitch Thompson for the Baylor Bears. 30th pitch coming. 
This is outside. Three and oh now. Thomas awaits on deck. Pitch in there for a strike. Mr. Automatic. It just, if it's on the plate area. 3-1 coming. Swing and a miss. And it, you know, if that happens to you 3-0, you think, well, that's a strike. I got a swing at this one. It's a third straight full count for Mario. This ball out to center, playable, over, puts it away. Does Johnson, Mitch Thompson, Mitch? When you look at it and you see the start of this ball game, you know, anytime that your pitcher has an opportunity to get out of a bases loaded, nobody out jam, you got to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, well, for sure. After you know we had a chance to turn the routine double play and we kicked it to shortstop, and then to get the double play next and and to get out of it with only one, that's a big deal. Okay. At McLennan for a while. We I didn't get a chance to talk to you last year, but you're here with the Baylor Bears now. Tell us about how it's going down there. Yeah, we're just trying to get this thing going, we're continuing to work to develop and recruit and get better players and, and win games. That's what it's about. Hey, you know, Mitch, you, you, the other thing is you got to injury bugs hit you pretty hard here at the beginning of the season, hadn't it? Yeah, we got hit hard right off the bat. Lost lost three uh, three starting position players uh, for the year right off the bat. So. We've had to make some adjustments, move some guys around. You know, um, Mason Greer is not typically probably a, a, a pure second baseman. Danny Altman's not a pure left fielder, uh, but we're moving guys around and we're, we're getting some pretty good production out of them at times and just trying to get better every day. Thanks for visiting with. Good luck the rest of the ball game. Thanks, guys. It's Thompson, head coach. It's LBJ out for his third inning of work. 37th pitch now. Will be 9 1 2. Two for the Bears here. Count evens at 1 and 1. Callie will step back in. He was at the plate. Senior from the Woodlands. Good bender in there for a strike, and it's 1 and 2. And his brother came in with UIW a couple weeks ago. Can Callie. Good slider. First strikeout for we're Johnson. The, we're in the third inning and saying it's LBJ's first strikeout. Good one right here, though. Off the plate. See, you can just see that thing. I mean, we went from inside to outside with depth on it. That was nasty. Not going to hit that. Back to the top of the order. Ty Johnson walked his first time up. First pitch in there for a strike. Stole a base, was stranded at third in the first inning. Was Johnson. Downstairs. Kelly's swing and misses. Two of them are the first two swing and misses from the Bears in this game against LBJ. They've made contact. The 1 1. Has been it's consistent, but it's been a pretty tight strike zone. You've seen a lot of hitters counts, a lot of deep counts. Kimball thought that was a strike. He was set up out, and it was he had to move across the plate to get it. This ball ripped into right. Third hit of the night for the Bears. First for Johnson. Two of those in two one counts from LBJ. Threat to run is Johnson. Four for four on the year. He stole a base in the first inning. Greer will step in. Lined out on a nice play by Max Ballou to take extra bases away from him. Throw. Johnson back in safely. A 
downstairs. One and oh. We saw Coach Thompson put hit and run on earlier in this game. Could be a chance right here. Greer with a seven game hitting streak. Tried to check his swing. Fouled it away. LeBaron Le didn't normally give up a lot of runs, so you're going to have to try to generate. Doesn't give up a lot of hits. Usually has a lot more swing and misses, so Baylor, like you said, is a good contact team. Throw over. Johnson back in safely. Long pause, not running upstairs. I feel like a lot of times when you hold it that long, sometimes it takes you out of your rhythm. I know you're trying to keep the runner close at first and, and vary your times, but sometimes you can hold it too long. And most of the time when the ball's up, it's because you're late getting it out of your hand. Your body's in front of your arm, correct? And look, you have that, and, and you're just not used to, to holding the, yeah. it that long. The 2 1. Break a ball in there for a strike. The count evens at 2 and 2. Steps back in. Time call. Yeah, the clock was at zero. So it's a full count. Instead of two two, goes to three two. Set to go. Runner may be off right here. See what happens. Big lead. Running. Foul back. What Johnson had a really big lead. It's almost says he's getting a walking lead a couple times. Set to go again. Not as big a lead this time from Johnson. LBJ's delivery. There goes the runner. Pitch is in there for a strike. Can't get the throw off. Second stolen base of the night for Ty Johnson. As Greer is down on strikes. Second strike out of the inning and of the ball game. Kimball could get the handle on it right there. Good pitch. 3 2 breaking ball. Ended up being a 3 2 breaking ball. Right on the plate, just couldn't get it a grip on it. Second of the night. Apodaca will step in. Lined out his first time up off the end of the bat to Thomas at first. First pitch, this is inside for ball one. See the numbers on the year. The 1 0. This is outside and it's 2 and 0. Hitters count now. 52 pitches in the ballgame for LBJ. 7 for 15 with runners in scoring position. Tough out. The 2 0. Foul tip. That's the one as a catcher is just brutal. The guy checks his swing, it just catches a piece of it, and it, all it does is hit your body. It's Kimball back there. It's supposed to hit his body. <laughs> the 2 1. 
foul back. And the count evens. Shadows completely engulf the field now. No more streaks of sunlight. So it's turning into a gorgeous March night in Austin, Texas. The 2 2. Gets a piece of it, keeps it alive. Twentieth pitch of the inning coming. Fifty sixth in the ball of the ball game. Chopped on the ground. Should do it. Thomas has it. Steps on the bag and ends the threat for the Bears here in the third. The third one one ball game here. It's conference baseball underway in the Big 12 and across the nation. First pitch in there for a strike. JT singled and scored his first time up. So top of the order due for Texas here in the third. Break a ball, chop foul. Thomas down 0 2. Mason Marriott out for his third inning of work. 42 pitches thrown so far. Big deep breath and his 0 2. Good break ball. That's in a good location there. Gets his third strikeout of the night. Like we said, first inning, I mean, really didn't have much time to settle in. Get to find that slider. But since then, it's thrown some real good ones. Getting some swing and misses. Peyton Powell single to left, his first time up. Two left handed hitters at the top of this Texas lineup have been good all season long. They have set the table. In there for a strike, and the count evens at one and one. Two seamer from Marriott. That one came back, started in, and came back over the plate. The 1 1. There's the change up. That is a change up. That was 88 again. Look at the top of that lineup. That's production. And, it, and that doesn't even list the run score. Six to two hits between them. Chop foul. I mean, between them, they've scored 38 runs. They've driven in 38. A lot of production at the top of this Texas lineup. Break a ball. He thought it was a strike. He was leaving. He wanted that. Just a little in. Right back to it, laid off of it. Now it's a full count. Pitch Where do you go now, Zeke? You're confused. You, get, you thought you had the strikeout. You threw a good pitch, You're thinking to yourself out there, how's he lay off of it? He has the command of that pitch right now. 50th of the night, it's out of the zone. So the one out walk will bring Flores to the plate. Slap that ball down. When Kelly threw it back to him. That's frustration, I believe, thinking you have the call and then end up losing the batter and walking. Bears a double play depth in the infield as far as reached on a miscue. What should have been a double play. As he steps in now, 0 for 1.
off of the fist. This is going to be a tough play. I don't believe anybody's going to get there. They cannot. Got in on him. But just muscled it to center. Texas, something working here in the third. Yeah. Smile now. That one dropped in for a knock. Got in on Jalen. Just having fun with CC down there. At first. Hey, tomorrow in the paper. That was a linear, just a liner in the left. Base hit right there. <laughs> Take them any way you can get them. Texas 0 for 4 in the game with runners in scoring position as a team. Schusler 0 for 1. It's get into a 3 6 1 double play his first time up. First pitch misses downstairs for ball one. Marriott set. Drops a break of ball in there for a strike, and it's even at one and one. The top of this lineup for Texas is if they're lead off an inning, it just puts so much pressure on you. I mean, you know that's coming every other inning, it seems like. Swinging a mess on a fastball. And it's one and two. It is sometimes you're looking over your shoulder. Who's on deck? Are they coming up as a pitcher? At the end of the bat, Pendergrass, can he get there? Great effort. Oh, he hits the wall. Extremely hard. Oh, I don't know. Set to go again. Balls obviously wasn't caught, so it's one and two. To Schusler with one out. He set the scenario in a 1 1 game here in the third. This ball ripped to left. It's down. They're sending the runner to the plate. Throw is offline. Texas takes a 2 to 1 lead. That one hit a good in the left field. Deep enough out there to halt them. Steve Rodriguez is bringing Powell around. That fastball just came, tails right into Kimball's swing right there. Elevated, waist high fastball. Where was offline? Bait would score easily. Horns take the lead. I always felt it so much, so difficult when one of your teammates is a pitcher. You had to see that weight. You don't get to throw any pitches, and then you have to make a pitch. And, uh, you appreciate the effort. You love your teammate. You hope he's okay. So that's in the back of your mind. This ball hit well into right, but playable. Abadaka under and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Yeah, I always. That's the that's the toughest one. You're you're playing a position. You know, you can go back and go to work, but pitching, you're, you're the first one that's got to create action again. Yeah. And sometimes you, you lose that mental toughness that you'd had before that, and then all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, man, what's, it, what's going on here? It is. And with the new clock, you have 20 seconds to think about. You don't have much time. Galvan will step in. Slider swinging a miss for strike one. Two runs on four hits now for Texas. Lead two to one here, bottom of the third. First of three conference games against the Baylor Bears. Oh, two now to Galvan. I don't think I changed anything here. I think you're going to see another breaking ball. Each time he's thrown the breaking ball, he swung through it. The 0 2. Got him with a breaking ball. Ends the inning. Third strikeout. Coming in and know the Big 12. Yeah, there's there's four other teams in this league. This ball hit well to left, down for a base hit. And Jordan with the leadoff single. And it's 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 a little strange to see some of these matchups that you see, you know, UCF at some place or uh, West Virginia at Cincinnati and those those games we're just not used to seeing. No, we're not. West Virginia is in Norman tonight playing the Sooners. Hadn't started yet. Seven game hitting streak for Jordan after that leadoff single. Plansky will step in. Throw. BYU. They're in it. 
beat Tech last night yes, in love. Tech off to a two and five start. 30 conference games, 10 conference series this year in the Big 12. It's in there for a strike. First time I can ever remember Texas playing in any of the leagues they've been in the Southwest Conference or the Big 12 to have a 30 game schedule. In conference play. Shot foul. LBJ out in front 0-2 here. Doesn't leave you much wiggle room outside of conference. Now the SEC's been doing it for a while. Next year the Long Longhorns will be in the SEC. So it will be a 30 conference schedule as well. The 0 2. First, ooh, nice job by Thomas. I don't know how he secured that. Zach Dillon over there in the first base coach's box is happy he did. Went close it was, it was a late <laughs> move. Zach was late. 60th pitch of the night for Johnson. Sky. Baloo coming on. Puts it away for out number one. Break the ball in there for a strike. LBJ. First three innings had 21 pitches in the first, 14 in the second, and 21 again in the third. So now 61 for the game. Altman singled and scored. For Baylor, his first time up. Pulls that pitch back in there for a strike as he was thinking about bunting. And it's 0-2. Lays off that slider. One and two. One two delivery. Fouled away. We'll do it again. It's a mad dash again. It went under the food truck. He's got it. I got it. Oh, and gave it away. And gave it away. I bet that's. I, I don't know. I, maybe sister. It was awful quick. Very generous. One two. Downstairs. No advancement. Count evens. That's almost the worst place for the baseball to go. Right underneath you. Can't find Because you're looking everywhere. Can't find it. <laughs> Two to right at the track, but playable. Balloon puts it away for the second out of the inning. It's fortunate it wasn't an hour ago. It's, it's blowing, but it seemed like that one was held up a little bit. He just got in on him a little yeah, bit. Didn't get that didn't jump off the bat. Womack came in for Pendergrass, who was hurt hitting the wall. Freshman from Frisco. Chase will step in. His first plate appearance. Pitch is in there for a strike. The 0 1. Quickly. No balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Got him. Third. Mason Marriott 
Out for his fourth inning of work. 60 pitches so far in the ball game for the Baylor right-hander. First pitch, last foul for strike one. Porter walked, stole a base. He's stranded at third. Chopped on the ground. Kemp has it. Sets his feet. Gets the out. So Gasparino will come to the plate. Great lighting here at the dish, but this time of the night when you have a crystal clear night, could this is twilight. Could have something lost. It's here. about that time. Yeah, it's about that time. So. Big full moon up there. Swing and a miss from Gasparino. Where are you going to be on April 8th, Zeke? We're going to have a huge eclipse. Come right through town. The eclipse? The eclipse. Yeah, I got a lot of friends in Fredericksburg. I think that's like the epicenter of it the is. eclipse. This is outside. One and one. It's supposed to be like a half a million people invading Austin <laughs> in the area. What's well, new? What, what's new? It's called fouled off at the plate. Jumped up and got Gasparino before he left the box. Get it on the ground and jumps up right there, right off the elbow. Yeah, he's still in the box, so it's a foul ball. <laughs> One and two to Wills. He steps back in. Strikeout victim his first time up. That hitting? Is that a foul ball? Yeah, hit off the bat. I think if it hit him, he might have been in a little bit of pain, but didn't show any. Breaking balls down. Scoreboard says 3 2. Yeah, right there. It hits the bat, so it's 2 2. It's not 3 2. <laughs> Drops a breaking ball in there. Fourth strikeout. For Marriott. Two quick outs for Texas. Fifth strikeout. Excuse me, I missed one. Yeah, that one just froze. Gasparino getting the feel for that breaking ball though Marriott Kennedy steps in with two outs fly to center his first time up it's in there for a strike seventieth pitch of the night Mason Marriott Swing and a miss on that breaking ball. It's 0 2. Did he go? He did not. Huh? It was close. It was. Side. Two and two now. And it's a full count. Three two breaking ball. Got better command of Six full count of the night. Nope. Went with the fastball for the sixth strikeout. One, two, three goes Texas. Here in the bottom of the fourth. LSU leads 2 0 in that rematch. Some of the other games, Florida State and Clemson. Boy, that's a heck of a matchup. And then tonight, right now, Mississippi State in the bottom of the sixth leads Texas AM. That's a good series as well. It's downstairs. Top of the fifth, 2 1 Texas lead here. 
one four and one for Baylor two four and one for Texas. Kip will step in 0 for one. The 2 0 downstairs and it's 3 and 0. 72 pitches now. Both of these starting pitchers in the 70s here in the fifth inning. That fourth inning only took 13 pitches for LBJ. The 3 0 in their first strike. That was the first 3 0 count for LBJ tonight. And that fourth inning with the only the 13 pitches had 3 0 2 counts in that fourth inning. 3 1 in their first strike. And from 3 0 to 3 2. Breaking ball right at the top of the zone for the strikeout. Sometimes you'll get away with them. Well, breaking ball right at the top of the zone to Tyreek. Gets the call fourth of the night for LBJ. I mean, if you're going by the rules, that was at the at the belt, and the old rules say knees to letters. <laughs> we all know that isn't the strike zone. Harrison steps in, tries to check his swing. 0 for one. Great comeback right there. You got a 2-1 lead. Don't want to walk that leadoff hitter. Fall 3 0 and LBJ come back to get the strikeout. Pumps a fastball in there and now it's 0 2. Did he go? He did not. 1 and 2 now. Top of the order, Ty Johnson awaits on deck. Breaking ball into left field for the one out single. We will visit with head coach David Pierce. Bottom of the frame. Ty Johnson will step in. He's one for one. He walked. Stole a base, stranded at third. Single stole a base, stranded at second. So one for one as he steps in. Time called. Everything resets. There goes the runner. Hit and run. Nice job by Johnson to snare that. It might have been a double play anyway, but that's still a really nice reaction to make that play. <laughs> yeah. As a pitcher, your job is to become a fielder once you release it. It's a reaction. Anything close to you, I mean, that was right there. It's a good job of picking it up. He checked the runner. Knew he didn't have a chance and went to first. So a runner in the score position for Greer, who's 0 for 2. Coach got a pitch around him. 0 for 2 as he steps in. Good hack, fouls it back for strike one. Twelve for 20 batters. Twelve for 20 first pitch strikes. 60%. Which misses outside. Count evens at one and one. Baylor looking for their first hit with a runner in scoring position. Breaking ball, good one. Swung over the top of it. This one and two to Greer. That's the one he wanted there to Cali. But Left it on on the plate a little bit and he got the single to, to left field. So he tries to waste it again right here. On the ground, Thomas has it, taking him himself. LBJ out of the jam here in the fifth. Well, here's 
Thanks, David, for taking the time to visit with us. You know, one of the things that you, that you look in a ball game like this, you get back into conference play, it's all about little things. And I noticed that little trip to the mound you had right there was about a little thing right there. You wanted to make a point about what the scenario was. You could just tell. 100%. I mean, it was just how we were going to pitch Greer right there, and uh, he executed perfectly. And, you know, you got a bag to work with, pretty good hitter. So, you know, just to make sure him and Kimball and me were on the same page. All right, Coach, besides Texas, it is March Madness. Who you got? Oh, man, I can't <laughs> say. Because if it's not Texas, I'm not picking them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Another great crowd tonight, David. Yeah, no doubt. Awesome Thank night. Thank yeah. you. Good luck the rest of the ball game. Thanks for taking the time. You bet. You got a smile. Yeah, he did. got a smile. Top of the order here, dude. Both starting pitchers, pitch counts are getting elevated, but it's been a well pitched game by both sides. 2 1 ball game as we play in the bottom of the fifth year. 75th pitch will be the first one for Marriott. And it is the top of the order as Thomas will step in. Break a ball in there for a strike. JT 1 for 2 with a run scored. Steps back in. The 0 1. Catches the inside corner. A delayed called strike right there. Just gets a piece of it. Greg, I've always heard, and you and I have had this discussion on air, that a changeup should be seven, eight, maybe even nine miles an hour slower. His changeup is only four or five miles an hour slower than his fastball. That's why I'm thinking, is it a BP fastball? It's not a changeup, because that's, that's very hard off your fastball. It's usually 10, like you said. And this is just a few miles an hour off his fastball. So still trying to figure out what exactly it is. Now it could be a split. Could, could be a little cutter. Yeah. I mean, one, two to Thomas. There it goes again. I'm trying to look at the hand. You can't see it as a hitter. It's got to be tough to figure it out. Two and two now. 80th pitch for the bear right hander. This out to left into the teeth of the breeze. Ball was hit pretty well. Not blowing like it was to start the game, but still decent breeze blowing in here. Jerry put a good swing on that one. One of my favorite people just stopped by. Had to take five seconds I out. I thought it was him over there for a second. Brian Jones steps in. You know what it is? He colored that beard in now. Yeah. <laughs> Brian and I are broadcast partners, Longhorn football years ago. Doing a great job doing college football. So Peyton Powell steps in. He's one for one. Walked and scored and singled. Steps back in. Inside corner. Quickly, it's 0 2. I've been calling that one this inning. And Thomas and Powell, that one came back a little bit onto the plate. The 0 2. Breaking ball. Sky to center. Fading over to left, put away for the second out of the inning. Seven in a row retired by Mason Marriott. I mean, as, as, a, as a hitter, you've seen the high strike call, you've seen the high, the low, the inside. I think Peyton Powell recognized that. I got to jump on this one. I don't want to take it for strike three. Swing at it. Looks like it could have been up out of the zone. Four singled his last time up, one for two.
bullpen is starting to get some action for the Bears here. Ethan Calder. Breaking ball dropped in there for a strike. Left tender. Lightly tossing. Not with real. Just stretching it out. This ball hit well to left. Running catch. Nice running catch to snare that. Altman with a nice running catch. Have to lead off the ball game for LeBear. Tough part of the order. 3 4 5 for the Bears. Here's is LeBaron out for his sixth inning of work. Falco is 0 for 2 as he steps in. This ball hit well into right center. He's got some carry. Ballou, nice running catch. Ballou's made some outstanding plays in right field tonight. And again, had to go a long way over into the right center field gap. Ball hit well by Enzo Apodaca. You see where Ballou is there. This ball is almost to the warning track. Has to go up, catch it over his head again. Boy, just a perfect really angle. Really nice. No misstep. Drop step, ran to the spot. Apodaca's like, oh. oh, man, what do you got to do? Hard to get a knock in this building. Look out. That comes out of Jordan's hands. There's not much defense for a flying bat. Yeah, give me some of that spray stick. Em. I'm just telling you, this is one of them. And you're just, Rose, look out. I went to high school with that guy, too. As Jordan, one for two in it as he steps in. A little smile right there. It's smile now. He wasn't smiling a few seconds ago. Bat was coming right at him. The one one. This ball ripped by a diving pal. That had some exit velocity. Second hit of the night for Wesley Jordan. He barely has time to react to that. One. Second hit of the night. As Zeke told you. Plansky will step in. 0 for 2. From the left side. Ninetieth pitch of the night. For Johnson. Which is in there for a strike. Nobody up in the Texas bullpen. Longhorns a double play depth in the infield. The 0 1. To left, playable for Brown. Reese will hold this up for the second out of the inning. Let's see. LeBaron get a quick out right here. Keep it under 100 pitches, possibly give him one more. Get him into the seventh. At least start it. Right. Altman one for two as he steps in. From the left side. Downstairs for ball one. Sky to left. Brown under. And a quick inning for LeBaron Johnson here at the top. Yeah. Ballou steps in 0 for 2. Throw the ball to the warning track his last time up. Seven homers. Tied for the Big 12 lead as he steps in. Stairs for ball one. He's made a couple of outstanding plays in right field tonight. Speed downstairs. Hitters count now. Two and zero. Oh. Was a hitter. I'm sitting on fastball. Middle in. 
Got one out over the plate. Flies it to left. Ten in a row retired. By Mason Marriott. He's done a nice job. He's settled in. Ninetieth pitch coming. The, the outs are soft all of a sudden. Not very many loud outs. Galvan step in. I think I would be looking for a breaking ball. Breaking ball in there first strike. Then you get that one first pitch. Breaking ball. We're getting a steady diet of those tonight has Galvan. The 0 1. Misses outside. The count evens. The 1 1 delivery. This out to right coming on quickly makes the play. One, two, three goes Texas in the six. Two thirds of the ball game in the books. Texas top of the seventh. We go to the last third of the ball game. Two one ball game. Johnson out and did come back out for the seventh. 94th pitch of the night. In there for a strike. Womack will step in. He came on in the game when Will Pendergrass had a violent collision with the wall down the right field line trying to chase a foul ball. So he is 0 for 1. Coming into the game to play second base and that breaking ball in there for a strike. And these two pitchers have found their stride right now. Marriott for the Bears has retired 11 in a row. LBJ holding his own right there with him. This ball ripped into right though and a leadoff single. So that could get both bullpens up and working right now. Texas has a right hander throwing. Gage Bain in the bullpen for Texas. As Kemp will come to the plate. He's reached on a fielder's choice and struck out. Texas anticipating bunt here. Does square, bunts it up the first baseline. And goes to second. They do get the out at second. Great play by Baton Powell as Womack didn't slide. I don't know if Womack thought Powell would have a shot down there at second base. That's an outstanding play by Peyton Powell. The ball was bunted pretty firm by Kemp. See LBJ get out of the way and across his body back towards second base. A really good play right there. They're going to make to go take a look at this one. Very good play comes across the mound and throws it. I mean completely back across his body. There's no doubt. Well, they were at, they were asking if his foot was on the bag, but yeah, ball was in the glove and foot stayed on the bag for Jalen Flores. That a lot of things going on here. Just a little conversation. We're ready to go. Throw over. Kemp back in safely. 0 for two. Kemp trying to steal. One for two. Jackson Cowley will step in. Throw again. Back in safely. Side for ball one. We've seen Mitch Thompson be aggressive with hit and run in this ball game. See what happens here. 99th pitch of the night coming. Throw over. Get back in safely.
Snap throw to first. Gets back in there. Pitch was a ball. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Hundred pitch of the night coming. His fourth of a hundred plus and third in a row. Taking for a strike. Two and one now. Ty Johnson, the leadoff hitter, awaits on deck here. There goes the runner. Little hit and run. Ball out to right field. Ballou can't get there. One misstep coming in. He can't get there. Rounding third on his way to the plate. Kip scores. We got a tie ball game. Max Ballou broke in and then could not. Adjust his direction after that ball hit real well by Cali. His first double of the season. See right here, you can see Baloo out there. Comes in a couple steps and he just can't get back to it. Tyreek Kemp was off with the pitch. Just out of reach. Yeah. So back to the top of the order and what is now a tie ball game. The center. Gasparino has a beat on this one. For out number two. So Greer will be coming to the plate here. He is 0 for 3. He has lined out, struck out, and grounded to first. This is the guy you want. Apodaca is in the on deck circle. This is where they were back in the fifth inning. Exactly. Upstairs for ball one. Bears have out hit Texas eight to four, but we're tied here at two in the top of the seventh. Good swing fouled it back. Now evens up. Pitch 105 coming from LBJ. Gets away from Schusler. Back, it just like popped through his glove. Caught it right out on the end and got away from him. Yeah. It went all the way to the screen. It's ruled a pass ball. Now the go ahead run 90 feet away. 2 1 on the ground into right field, and the Bears have the lead. Ball hit good here by Greer. Went down and got that breaking ball. It was out where he could go get it. It wasn't down under the hands where he could get that swing without. and miss. Two across here for Baylor, and they take a one run lead. Little delay still, throw to second base. In time. To get Greer, but not before Bell two to one until that two run top of the seventh. So they lead now here, going to the bottom of the seventh, bottom third of the order. Due for Texas seven eight nine. Bears with a three two lead. First pitch upstairs for ball one. Texas trying to get some offense going. Four singles tonight in this game. 
No slugging. This ball hit well out into right center, but will stay in the ballpark for out number one. Porter gave it a ride. Stays in the park. Yeah, deep, deep right center out there. Did it good. It was up in the air for a while. Came down and Abadaka's glove for the first out. Will Gasparino will step in. 0 for 2. A couple of strikeouts as he steps in. Hale's first delivery breaking ball chopped on the ground. Kemp has it sets his feet across the diamond two quick outs for Texas and Texas has not had a base runner Zeke since the third inning. Yeah. RBI single by Schusler. Back in the third that's 13 in a row retired. How about their pitching. Zeke Kennedy steps in 0 for 2. Pitch in there for a strike. Boy, Hill with his height creates that good tilt, doesn't he? It's nothing overpowering. It's been 88, 89 with the fastball. Creates some good angle. Kennedy down 0-2. Break a ball misses outside. Set ready the one two. Ripped that's a fair ball down into the corner. Kennedy into second base with a double. Another one this is on the line. Hit the line. Just past the third base bag. An easy double there for Kennedy. Watch it. Now he sees that it's fair. Watch it, right? On the line. Steve Kennedy's first double. There's a long one. What were you just talking about? Slugging percentage. Well, now you need another one here with two outs. Thomas steps in one for three. Pulls this ball foul for strike one. Singleton scored in the first struck out and line to left. Texas one for seven on the night. With a runner in scoring position. That double by Kennedy the fifth hit of the night for Texas. Stairs count evens. Third conference series for the Bears. They come in at two and four, Texas. This is their second conference series, or two and one in conference play. Just misses outside. Two and one to Thomas. Hitters count here. A speed pitch in there for a strike. Just over the top curveball right there. Kept it outside. Gonna be tough with two strikes here. Hill set. Way outside with the heater. Peyton Powell awaits on deck. 
LBJ's night probably over. And Gage Bain continues to throw for Texas. The payoff. Got him. Huge strikeout with the lead in the top of the eighth inning. Three, nine, and one for the Bears. Two, five, and one for the Horns. Apodaca will step in. He is 0 for 3. Lined out deep to right his last time up. First pitch downstairs from Bain. The 1 0. Breaking ball misses. Hitters count now. Zeke, there's times in the bullpen's got to throw a zero up, and this is one of them for Texas bullpen. Guaranteed. Breaking ball in there. Because it's been a tough night offensively for Texas. Chopped on the ground. Flores has it on the run for the out. So one gone here in the eighth. Wesley Jordan will step to the plate. He is two for three tonight. What you got, Enzo? DH for the Bears. This ball ripped on the ground into the shift. Long throw across. Nice job by going up by Thomas and coming down on the back. Right into that shift that time. Yeah, he's playing over in the five hole. It was Jalen. See Peyton on the line. Strong throw. Thought for a second he sailed it there. Stayed on plane. Jared able to catch it. Two quick outs here for Bain. Plansky will step in. He's 0 for 3 from the left side. Foul. Bain has two outs on six pitches. It's in there for a strike. It's quickly 0 2. Two, three, four in the bottom of the inning due for Texas. Defensive swing. That'll make you jump around a little bit. It made ooh, there's Jim Blair down there in the third base box. I mean, jump over the top of it. Little hopscotch. I don't even know the rules of hopscotch. Did you play hopscotch? Nah. I bet you didn't. You're like me, you wouldn't know. I had no idea. Four square. Four square. Okay. Tether ball. Tether. <laughs> now I play tether ball. So you put a rock or something in the box, right? And you have to jump around it in, in hopscotch. I, I don't know. There's some funny design yeah. on the ground. One, two, one, chalk. two. Yeah. The O2. Ooh, look out, that hurt. Ooh. I got people throwing bats at me. I got people throwing baseballs at me. Hunter's the one that ducked the bat come flying in the on deck circle yes, a couple does. innings ago. Nuggets hit right. Back of the just bottom above, part of the leg. Just above the Achilles right there. Oof. Daniel Altman will step in. He's one for three with a run scored. And that hurt. <laughs> Left fielder for the Bears steps in.
in there for a strike. On the ground, Flores to second, and that ends the inning. We go to the for Texas here in the bottom of the eighth, chasing one to tie, two to take the lead. Foul steps in one for two, scored a run, singled, walked. First pitch misses for ball one. Powell, Flores, Schusler, two, three, four, due for Texas. They've been out hit nine five in this ball game. Trail, you're three two. Outer half for a strike. One and one to Powell. This ball ripped down into the corner. This is going to go for extra bases. Powell on his way to second with a sliding double. Two hits on Hale since coming into the game. Both have been doubles. That the seventh double for Peyton Powell. Good weight transfer there. Keeps the hands back. Nice and loose. Relaxed. Throw the hands. Powell's 36th hit of the year. Jalen Flores will step in. He is one for three as he steps in. He likes the dramatics, does Jalen Flores. Baylor, not sure if he was bunning, not bunning. I think he would be, but. Blansky was just in front of the bag. Now he moves back a few steps behind the bag. Greer at first base, way behind the bag. Upstairs, 2 and 0. Hitters count now to Flores. Not near the wind that we had at the start of the ball game. Flags are almost no wind right now. Breaking ball had him out in front two and one. He was geared for the express and got the local. Yes, he was. The two one. Get Peyton Powell to third base with less than two outs. Tried to go right side, fouled it off that side of the field. We'll do it again at two and two. He's got to try that breaking ball, you would think. Trying to sneak a fastball by Jalen right there. Wasn't able to do it. Tying run at second base, nobody out, bottom of the eighth. Did come back to the breaking ball. Nice pick by Coach Rod. Third base. Seven years, the head coach for the Baylor Bears. Now on the staff at Texas. The 2 2. This ball hooked foul. Remember on Tuesday night, it was the ninth pitch of the at bat. The fours went deep. He's fought off a few here. Eighth pitch coming. Just saying. The 2 2. Foul back. Going to be with a hanging fastball right there.
another nine pitch at bat. Floor it's tied for the lead lead in homers. Hills 2 2 delivery. Right side. Back out of play. Ricochet and a souvenir. The sixth foul ball from Jalen in this at bat. Tenth pitch of the at bat coming up. Time called. This week, Greg, you and I have talked about it a couple of times. We have seen more trips to the mound in odd counts than any time. Again, the floor is downstairs, and the count goes full. Protecting a one run, bare lead now. One of the biggest pitches of the game right now. Tying run at second, nobody out. The payoff, breaking ball. Upstairs, ball four. Excellent bad zone. Fouled off a lot, had a coach's visit, tough to lay off that one. That's been called a couple times tonight, that high strike. That one just off the plate. It really good at bat there from Jalen Flores. Now the Bears are anticipating bunt here as they bring the infield up. Schusler will step in. He's one for three with an RBI single. Tying run at second. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out here. Bottom of the eighth in a 3 2 ball game. Schusler steps in. Hill set. Does square. Long pause here. Now the delivery. This ball popped up. Rolls foul. Texas catching a break right there. He squared around early, but Toplansky didn't really come down the line very far. Might have been able to have a shot at that ball in the air. You can't give up third unless you got the rotation play on. You got to wait a second. You got to wait just a <laughs> second. In case that guy from second, you give up that bag, he's got third base. You're in a little bit of a dilemma as a third baseman in this right. defense. Set to ready to go again. See what happens here with an 0-1 count. Hale set. Schusler squares early. Breaking ball dropped in there for a strike, and it's quickly 0-2. Doubt that you'll see bunt now. And if you do have to bunt here, you just got to put it in play. You don't care where it goes. You want to put it in fair territory. Yeah, because the infield's going to back up now with two strikes. And they do. Hill set. He does square and he bunts it perfectly back out in front. There's nobody at first. It's going to go as an infield knock, and Texas has him loaded. You're not expecting the bunt. You're not expecting the bunt. Look second baseman. Back here. Second baseman way over there towards second base. Yeah, the bunt's down on the ground and he cannot get there in time. So base is loaded for Max Ballou here. Bears will bring, they will come to the mound and Mitch Thompson's going to make a pitching change. Middle of the field, they'll go for the double play and surrender the run. Ballou tied for the lead. League lead in homers. Steps in, first pitch fouled off. Got to make contact here as a hitter. And as a pitcher, you're looking for the strikeout. And as a catcher, you've got to block every the baseball. Stairs count evens. Back, 
Ballou steps back in. The lefty set. Good slider there for a strike. And it's one and two. Got that one over. You can waste a slider right here, something out of the zone, see if you can get Ballou fishing. Trying to chase it. Exactly what he did. Blue laid off of it. The 2 2. Got a piece of it. Kept it alive. And the mad dash for a souvenir. Ballou steps back in. Calder ready to go it. On the mound. This on the ground could be two. Ball game is tied. But a huge turn of the double play by the Bears. The Longhorns have tied the game. Second double play tonight for Baylor with the bases loaded, nobody out. Right here, the conventional way. 4 6 3. Still got the runner on third. Galvan will step in. He's 0 for 3. All against right handed pitching. Now he steps in against the left hander. Porter Brown, a left handed hitter, is in the on deck circle. Swinging a mess on what is a changeup. Brown has had some struggles against left handed pitching. It's interesting. Mitch Thompson going after Galvan here. They might know the numbers. That one catches a corner as well. It's quickly 0 2. So that was called on the plate. But it said it was a strike, not the swing. This outside as he turns that ball over. It's one and two. Gets that ball to run away from the right hander. The one two. Got him with the strikeout. Calder comes into the game. This game in the hands of the bullpens now. As neither starting pitcher will figure in the decision. Bottom third of the order. As Chase Womack will have his third plate appearance. He singled his last time up. He's in relief of Will Pendergrass, who was injured on a great effort on a play. As he ran in hard into the wall down the right field line. We have no update on Pendergrass. We wish him well. Hope he's okay. The 0 2 chopped on the ground. Foul. There's the starting pitcher, no longer Mason Marriott, not involved in the decision. Okay. Neither is LBJ. Yeah, he's going for his first win of the season. Which misses outside, and it's one and two. Bame out for a second inning work, had a very efficient eighth inning. The one two to left with some carry Porter Brown over onto the track. That tells you a little bit about what the breeze is doing now. That ball got all the way deep onto the track. Yeah, put a charge into that one opposite field. Flag starting to blow a little bit now, but that ball went a long way. Tariq Kip will step in. 0 for 3. Reached on a fielder's choice a couple of times. He scored a run. First pitch in there for a strike. Pitch 
Jones in there for a strike and is quickly 0 2. Ames 20th pitch coming. Laid off. Bottom third of the order due for Texas in the bottom of the ninth. Foul. It's one and two. Texas jumped out to a one nothing lead. Baylor answered in the second, and then Texas held the lead two to one until a two run seventh. And Texas tied it in the bottom of the eighth, three three. Downstairs. The 2 2. Breaking ball in there for a strike and the strikeout. Can't get much better location than that and get that called strike. Good slider here from Gage Bain. Good work, Kimball set up. Look at that ball ends up. Perfect pitch. Kelly will step in. Harrison, as he steps in, he's had a big night. Two for three on the night. First pitch misses outside. His double drove in a run in the seventh. Later on, scored in that inning. The 1 0. Break the ball in there for a strike. One and one now. Off of the end of the bat, right out in front of the plate. Schuster has it, throws the first. One, two, three. Go the Bears in the ninth. Two up. Bottom. Brown steps in. Pitch pulls the bat back on the breaking ball. Pitch misses for ball one. Not by much. Quarter 0 for 2 with a stolen base. Fastball catches the outer half and the count evens at 1 and 1. Quarter 0 for 2 as he steps in. Skied in the infield. Kemp. Looking up into the night sky, puts it away for out number one. Well, I tell you what, you go back and look at this game. Longhorns have it, had them loaded with nobody out in the first. Hit into a 3 6 1 double play. Then in the eighth, Zeke, same thing. Bases loaded, nobody out. They get one both times. Big innings, though, averted with the ground ball double play. They had an opportunity early to break it open and again in the eighth. Unable both times, two for 11 with runners in scoring position. And hurt thing is that 0 for 2 with the base of Luke. Gasparino steps in. First pitch misses outside. Will 0 for 3 in this one as he steps in. On the ground is short. Kemp up with it. Longhorns, two quick outs here in the ninth. As Kennedy will come to the plate. Nice job by the Austin native. He's coming to the game, really done an outstanding job. He's gotten five outs. 
first pitch in there for a strike to Kennedy. Doubled his last time up. One for three on the night. This ball on the ground up the middle. Kemp has it. Throw to first. One, two, three goes Texas. Bonus. Bame out for his third inning work. He will face Ty Johnson as he steps in. First pitch, breaking ball in there for a strike. Johnson, one for three tonight with a couple of stolen bases. The 0 1. On the ground. Thomas gets to it. Can't get to it. Kennedy on the run. Hits Bane. Nice job. Lays out. Did Thomas. Kennedy right there to make the play. Dangerous right there. Good job, D. Kennedy. Getting over there when JT trying to get to this baseball. Couldn't get to it. Let him. Perfect timing right there to get to the base. Bame, you got to get over there. You got to catch the ball and find the base. Good job by the big man. Mason Greer will step in. Singled his last time up. One for four on the night. Downstairs for ball one. Single drove in a run. Greer steps back in. To left playable for Porter Brown for the second out of the inning. These relief pitchers controlling the game right now, Zeke. Yeah, they are. You see, Calder for Baylor had to come in with a mess, he was able to get out of it just the one run. Gage Bain is doing a real good job since he's been in, just only base runners been a hit by pitch to Deplansky in the eighth. Baca will step in. Downstairs. 0 for 4 on the night. Line deep to right his third time up. Just on the warning track. Inside corner. Count evens at one and one. That's the first of three games. Both head coaches have got to look. Do you want to use your late guys? How long do you want to take them into the game? Yeah. The ball. Good one. Swing and a miss. And Bane with 33 pitches right now. Get out of this with 35 or so. Just nine out of the zone for Bane tonight. Might be available for Sunday. Got him swinging. Second strikeout. One, two, three. Go to the plate. Nathan Calder out. A lefty has pitched extremely well in this ball game for Baylor. First pitch in there for a strike. Sixteen pitches so far for the Bear left-hander. Thomas steps back in. Upstairs. Count evens at one and one. Slider misses. That was out of the zone when it left his hand. Yeah. Thomas ahead as he steps back in. Fastball catches the outside corner. And the count evens at two and two. Now what do you look for? He's painted the fastball. I, I see you go to breaking ball right. Does go to the breaking ball and gets the strikeout. Second for the left hander since coming into the game. Painted a fastball and then started that one more on the plate. Got a good bite to it late. 
out of the zone. Peyton Powell will step in. He's had a big night. Scored twice. He's doubled, single. He's walked, popped up. Two for three as he steps in. Lefty lefty matchup here. First pitch misses for ball one. See the numbers on the year. Even 400 as he steps in right now. Calder came in with 14 and a third innings on the season, and in three of those outings, Zonk, he threw 10 and a third inning total. So he's gone three innings, he's gone four innings this year. Hitters count now 2 and 0. Oh. <laughs> Foul down the left side. Souvenir. There goes the mad dash. You get all ages going after two. There was a man running after that one in a suit. <laughs> He's about to appear. Fastball just misses. It's three and one to Powell. You got to look for that fastball away. Shoot it to the left right here. Peyton very good at that. Already done it once tonight. The 3 1. Hits it hard to right. It'll stay in the ballpark. Just a little bit on the end for the second out of the inning. And it took off good. Took off really well. Just a little too high. So two gone. And here comes Jalen Flores to the plate. One of the leaders in the Big 12 in homers. Is one for three on the night. As he steps in. Calder set. Baylor in no doubles. Plansky is guarding the line at first. Outfield is extremely deep. He'll give up the single. They don't want a runner into scoring position here with two outs. Pull the string. Four is out in front. Count evens at one and one. Right now, this has been a clinic on how you pitch. What is? I mean, it has not hit 90 miles an hour. He just keeps changing speeds and moving the ball around. This ball back up the middle. Kemp to his left has it on the run. In time, one, two, three goes Texas. As well as Calder on the other side for Baylor. Yeah, 34 pitches now. Probably, I mean, obviously going to throw more in this inning. Nobody warming up for Texas. Wesley Jordan steps in. He rips it on the ground off of the shoulder. Took an odd hop. Throw to first. In time. No, it not in time. That's a great effort by Powell to come up with an out to get Jordan go down the line. They may review this. Naked eye, I thought he got him. It's off. Peyton comes up on it right there. Finds it good. Just not too sure the ball got there before. <laughs> Big call right here. I Looks like the foot hit the bag. He is safe at first base. So a leadoff base runner for the Bears here. David Pierce on his way out. Get this bunt defense correct, calling the infielders into the mound. See how the old Edge Thompson play, wants play to play. Tie, tie it on the road and win at home, or is it the other way around? Play to take the lead on the road for me. Not bunting, and this ball's chopped on the ground. Thomas tried to get to it. Can he get it out? Yes, he can. But runner gets into scoring position at second base. So 3 1 on the put out. That was a nice hustle play by Thomas and Bain to get an out there. JT thinking second base right here. Just can't get the handle on it, but. Did not give up on it. That's the biggest thing. And Bame right there having to turn back towards the infield, towards the mound. Let's catch it, then find the base again. How about that backhanded throw? We're going to have a runner. 
Cade Fletcher is the pinch runner. He's a 6 1 and 205 pound redshirt junior from Mansfield, Oklahoma. As he comes on to pinch run for Jordan at second base. So 3 1 on the put out. Altman will be the hitter. Baylor one for eight with runners in scoring position tonight. They do have 10 hits now in the game. 3 10 and 1 for Baylor, 3 7 and 1 for Texas. Game set. Upstairs for ball one. One for four on the night with a run score. It's Altman. Time was called there. I don't know on maybe by the hitter. We're about to get this thing going. Now we're set. And the 1 0. Lashed foul. Look out. And it's 1 and 1 to Altman. Downstairs. Two and one. Chase Womack in the on deck circle. Do next. The two one. Shot foul. And the count evens. Altman will step back in. Yeah. Slider inside. And the count goes full. About 8,000 Longhorn fans wanted to, that pitch to be a strike. A little in. The 3 2. Breaking ball, chop foul. We'll do it again. Just like you said, Bame is spent for the weekend with 42 pitches. So you're going to go with him as long as he's effective now. He's thrown 47 as a season high. The 3 2 again. Hit pretty well in the gap in left center. This is going to get down for extra bases. Baylor is going to take. The lead, Altman into second base with an RBI double. Second hit of the night. And the Bears have jumped out in front here in the 11th. Uh, 3 2, got the breaking ball. Didn't want to walk him, didn't want to give in. Got the double. His third of the season. Drives in a run, a go ahead run for the Bears. Womack will step in. It's one for three. It's coming into the game. Foul back for strike one. Peeking ahead, to the bottom of the 11th, it'll be the four, five, and six hitters for Texas. He'll be chasing at least one at this point. Try to tie this thing back up. Outside. Count evens. Pitch in there for a strike. One and two. Hey, 
Bain set. Nice block by Schusler. Count evens. It's the next bit to be the season high for Bain. This seems to be laboring a little bit out there. The 2 2. This is on the ground. Flores has a beat on it for the second out of the inning. Moving up to third. Now 90 feet away is another insurance run for the Bears as Kemp comes to the plate. 0 for 4 on the night. He has scored a run, reached on a fielder's choice. Ball in there for a strike. The 0 1. This ball hit well to right. Ballou trying to get a beat on it. Makes an unbelievable catch to secure it and end the inning. That was trouble. Straight Big 12 game. If they can hold on here for the first time since 2019, been a while. It's been a while for the Bears. Schusler will step in. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Schusler, Balu Galvan, two for Texas here in the bottom of the 11th. Pitch catches the outer half. Count evens at one and one. Schusler two for four on the night. Swing and a miss. Ball might have been outside the zone on that fastball. It's got a little tail to it, his fastball. So one and two. Comes back with another heater. The count is two and two. Calder has been outstanding since coming into the game. This ball going to be a tough play. Romack has it. Underhands to first. In time to get the out. First out here in the 11th. A little squibber out there. Womack able to get to it. And underhand again. Very nice play. For a second there, Greer started to go after it and then retreated back to first. Blue will step in. 0 for 4 on the night as he steps in. Lefty lefty matchup here. Break a ball in there for strike one. Filling it up. Yeah. His activity in the Baylor bullpen. Steven Sepulveda. It's for Baylor. This is outside. Count evens one and one. The 1-1 one, one to Blue. Missed outside. 2-1 and one now. Two one breaking ball. Blue swings through it, and the count evens at two and two. Yes, it, there's no repeating out there. For Calder, he just throws any any pitch any time. Comes back with a breaking ball again. He fouls it off. Lakes. Travis Native has been outstanding since coming into the game for the Bears. A 
way outside. And the count goes full. It's a big pitch because you can bring the winning run to the plate. Yep, got it recognized. The payoff. Downstairs, ball four. Galvan will be the winning run as he'll stride to the plate. Tying run now at first base. First base runner off Calder since he entered this game in the eighth inning. Galvan will step in. 0 for 4 on the night as he steps in. Got power to all directions. Porter Brown awaits on deck. Throw over and Ballou back in. Downstairs with an off speed pitch for ball one. 41 pitches now for the Bear left hander. Hitters count now 2 and 0. I've seen a lot of off speed in this count. Look for kind of a meeting before he throws another pitch. And look for Calder. Maybe on Sunday. Those goofy lefties could come back at any time. Hey, now don't talk about yourself <laughs> like that. The 2 0. In there for a strike. It's two and one to Galvan. Bears a double play depth in the infield. Swing and a miss on a changeup, and it's two and two. Allen steps back in. Throw over, blue back in safely. Inside now. Well, with the quick David pitch. Pierce, you're putting him in motion here. Galvan has three strikeouts. No swing and miss I, a few he, times. He's, got, yeah, he's, got, he's a swing and miss guy. I, I don't think he's running. See what happens. The payoff not going. Swing and a miss. Galvan down on strikes for the fourth time tonight. Since that one out of the zone. So Porter Brown will step in. Porter 0 for 3 as he steps in. Lefty lefty matchup here. Throw over. Blue dives back in safely. Huh? I guess they don't call box anymore. That he, looked like outside that 45 he, degree he angle. Has. He's been stepping very close. Breaking ball misses to Brown outside. 48th pitch coming from the Bear left hander. Sky. This should do it for the Bears. In the air. Giving away. Coming on. Making the play is Johnson. And the Bears have come to Austin.